Hey guys, James Wilson Taylor here for Rock Sound. We are backstage at Slam Dunk Festival 2023. Under Oath are on the lineup. Spencer and Aaron join me now. Hello, gentlemen. How are we? We're great. Absolutely yeah. wonderful. The joys of sharing mics with tech difficulties. Um, hey, Slam Dunk Festival. Let's start right there. Always great to have you guys over here in the UK. This year, this lineup is so so good. It feels like yesterday you guys had a really really nice reception. How's that show been for you? How's this weekend been for you so far? Uh, I mean, it, it's been incredible. I mean, we couldn't complain. We've never played Slam Dunk before, right. so this is our first time. You know, I'm and actually it, really surprised by. I, I don't know. That. Yeah, wow. we've never played Slam Dunk, and we haven't been to the UK in five years five and a half years so we're stoked to be here um it's been so good we got to play we played the heavy awards the other night and got to play wembley um i I think that we expected less of a warm reception because it's been five years um but it was amazing yesterday it was magic so i think that it's just uh it's a bit of a relief i guess in a way but also you know we love england and I think that for us, like for people to still be interested, has been a really big surprise, but also really heartwarming. So, yeah. It's nice as well. Like, I mean, yeah, you can say it the one hand, it's like, oh, I'm worried, will they remember us? But come on, people have been waiting. People have been waiting for this return. It's now, it's always going to be a little bit of a celebration. I'm glad you mentioned Every Music Awards as well, because, yeah, big arena moment and all that kind of stuff. A nice event that, you know, it's rare that our scene kind of gets celebrated on a massive stage, on like that particular award stage. Yeah, it got to be really nice to be a part of an event. How was that moment for you guys? I saw some lovely production and stuff on stage for you. Yeah, we, we just played two songs, and that was, it was fun, though. Like, we, like, like you said, we have never done an award show over in the UK. So th- I think we're like, like really excited about kind of having a restart in the UK. Like I said, we haven't been here in five years. We haven't done Slam Dunk. Like, it's a good thing for us to be doing this now. And like, we really want to come back and like do our own tour. And, and like, really, you know, this is like our our area that you know it's not built in always for us. Like. Like America, South America, Australia, we know what to expect. The UK and Europe, we don't know what to expect half the time. So it's great to be back here. It feels like a bit of a restart for Under Oath in the UK, which is a, I think it's a rare thing to get. Do you know what I mean? A band that's been a band, we've been touring for 20 years this year. So for a band that's our age, it's been around for as long as we have, it's really cool to feel like we're getting a, it's like a second chance like another shot do you know what I mean yeah a little bit I mean that's the kind of interesting thing is like it feels like particularly over the last few years and the last couple of records and stuff that audience has been growing and it's been a younger audience as well it's the kind of thing isn't it where you know they heard they're only chasing safety growing up and they, you guys weren't necessarily around at that point for touring and stuff and then suddenly you're back like this new younger audience is going to be discovering you and coming to those live shows which has got almost I guess injected with even more energy now you know you, have you noticed that like that kind of ever changing crowd ever changing demographic a little bit yeah, I think in the States as well, like, we noticed there's, like, people from, like, 12 That's right. all the way through, like, 40, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. and, like, everything in between. So it's great because kids will find us on Voyeurist or our new songs, like, singles that we have out now. And, you know, because we're, like, on the radio or uh, do stuff that we didn't do growing up, like the younger audience that's grabbing onto that and then goes backwards and goes, oh, this is, you know, this, 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 chase safety to find the great line, all that stuff. And they're coming out to the shows now, which is great. Yeah, no, really nice to see that kind of continuous develop. And you mentioned some of those singles that we've already been hearing coming through. I mean, last time we chatted with you, Spencer, you know, you were telling me about basically working on a record and basically getting there, getting there with some more new music. What kind of stage are we at right this second? Do we have a completed record? Do we have new song ideas? What kind of stage are we at? We have a lot, a bunch of stuff completed, a bunch of stuff not completed, but a new song will be coming out this summer. Look at you. It's either oh, June or July. Yeah, you'll have shit. another another song from right. the record. If you've got Let Go right now, yeah. um, they're going to be putting on an acoustic version of that. Okay. Just something that me and Aaron did that just because we were doing it at radio stations already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When in America, you got to go play the radio stations acoustic. So they just like, hey, why don't you go record that? So we we gave them that, and they're put out a new single after that. It's actually being mixed and mastered right now. We've heard some final mixes and then there were some tweaks and so yeah we're we're very close to another single and I would say our album 
end of year, early next year. Oh, very exciting. That's a good timeline to have. Also means we get that lovely big summer touring plans in there as well from you guys out in the States and everything as well. Had the We Came As Romans boys in yesterday. You know, I mean, it's a stacked, stacked lineup. That's got to be a nice thing as well because I look at a tour post like that, I'm like, oh yeah, Heavy Music's in a really healthy place. That's some really, really nice names on there. It, it's the biggest tour we've ever done in our career, actually. Amazing. Heavy Music is in a really good place. Yeah. So it's like... I say 20 years in, 20 years in doing our biggest headliner is... You can't, like, you can't ask for anything better than that. that is it's just the right time right now. I think rock music make is has made and is making such a resurgence. In the middle 2000s, it kind of was bleak for rock music, you know. So I think, you know, this this resurgence is we're all we're all reaping the benefits of that. I mean, look at Slam. Like, how many people out there? This thing sold out both nights, and we're not from the UK, so it maybe it's different in America. But like Inter Shikari being a band that's headlining, so yeah. that's huge. Like, so cool. yeah. that's got to be huge, right? Doing arenas next year. I mean, that's heavy music is definitely doing things. It's a nice moment. It's a nice moment. And we see this as well. You know, again, last time I spoke to you, Spencer, I asked you about that Nothing Nowhere collab and stuff. And I know you guys have been obviously doing that. But then other collabs like your friend Charlotte Sands is here and all this kind of stuff. It's nice seeing, as I said, like not just the younger generation of fans, but younger generation of artists coming through as well doing really exciting things it's got to be cool to just keep collaborating keep trying new things and keep that's how you keep that scene and community alive right and just keep collaborating keep mixing things up in that way i feel now even more strongly that like when we started it was before the streaming era there was like a scene a hardcore scene that was very like it's very tight niche though yeah. i feel like now it's more community based than ever like back then it was all about family community like if you're a part of it you're a part of it if you're not you're against us and i feel like now it's just so accepting and that like you were saying like, all these collaborations all these artists working together and the, even the festivals being kind of a mixed bag of things of in like i just feel like there's way more community than there's ever been in my opinion yeah. very very exciting to see uh boys i know you're going to be having a very busy day but before i let you go one question we've been asking absolutely everybody because as we keep saying stacked lineup this weekend my god it feels like a real vintage year for slam dunk for real like it's a proper proper great lineup anyone on that bill that you haven't collaborated with yet that you think could be great on an under oath track if you could work with someone who's around here this weekend who would you love to jump with yeah yeah yeah. this weekend the main would be cool kind of cool i really like the main and i like the guys a lot and i know it i don't think it would make sense for an under oath song but i think that's what would make it interesting yeah definitely. like not being like here's an under oath song we left the bridge, John sing it. Like actually get in the room with a couple of them, with a couple of us, and see what shakes loose. I think that would be fun. Very, very cool. All right, how about you? I, I, I was gonna say the same thing. So <laughs> I'm just a fan of that band and I have been for a long time. I always felt like, uh, this isn't meant to sound like, oh, we're the shit or whatever, but we, I felt like we always did whatever we wanted under oath. We've never been like, we'll do this so we can get the clicks. We've never been that band. The main is the exact same way in a different genre. You know what I mean? They don't give a shit. Like they just don't. So I think, I think that that's why I think it would be cool. Even though it's completely separate genres of music, I think it'd be cool because the ethos is the same. They know exactly what they're doing with it. Um, boys, lovely to see you as ever. Have a great show today. We'll catch up with you again very soon. All right. Good to see you. Under oath, everybody.